Hey everyone, it's me Preeti. Today I'm going to teach you how to find the second half of the string. Yes, in my previous video I've already taught you how to find the first half of the string and how to do it perfectly because I have printed the entire string and I've also showed you uh, after printing the entire string how do you print only first four characters or only half of the array, right? So yes, now today I'm going to teach you how to find the second half of the string. So whatever you see on the screen is uh, the continuation of the previous video so I'm not asking you to go back and watch the previous video and come back here because I'm gonna explain you anyways because that previous video is all about how to find the first half of the string now this video is all about how to find the second half of the string I'm just explaining you the difference between that program and what we're gonna implement right now right so first half of the string now coming to second half of the string so this is second half of the string so in the first half of the string whatever you're doing you're just telling Please do iterate the loop only to the first half of my string. That is, if your length of the string is 8, you're dividing it by 2 and it becomes 4. So you're iterating your loop only for the first 4 characters. That is only for the first 4 times. But what you want to do, you want your for loop to iterate from the second half. That is, from USAD. So if you want your for loop to iterate from the second half, you are just supposed to replace this word dot length by two here that is word dot length by two you you want your for loop to start from the second half so you don't want your for loop to start from the first half if you want your for loop to start from the first half you're just taking this off and you're just giving zero when you give zero your for loop starts from c and it continues from c o n f u s e d but if you want your for loop to start from u that is from second half then you should divide the length here only when you divide your length here only uh, so imagine i is equals to word dot length by 2 so what is the entire length it will be 8 when 8 is divided by 2 it will be 4 so when i is equals to 4 your for loop will initially it will first time get triggered at u right it will get initially triggered at u and it continues the loop right and it continues the loop and it should you should make sure it should not exceed the length of your entire string so it should start from half of your hurry that is from u and it should end at a d so it should end at a d that is the reason i have mentioned it should be less than word dot length right and finally you're just printing word dot i so i'll just save this program and i'll just run yes so you can see used right so you're just taking from here and you're just incrementing your for loop you're just printing u s e d so when word dot length by 2 you'll get a value of i is equals to 4 so 4 will be u okay so 4 will be u so 4 will be printed uh, printed that is u will be printed first again i will be incremented i plus plus it goes to s and s will be printed again i will be incremented it will go to e e will be printed again i will be incremented it will go to d and d will be printed right so this is how you're supposed to i mean find your first half of the string and second half of the string and the same thing can be applied for arrays as well the same logic is applied there's no difference right and i've already told you why do we use char word uh, so you cannot perform or you cannot iterate a loop uh, on just a string you're supposed to convert your string to an array after converting it to an array only then you can perform or only then you can iterate a loop okay so i'll just take everything off and i'll i'll just show you because you should not be confused about the syntax so i'll just give char so char is a array type of a string to store so char this is a name which you give to your resultant character array and i'm just taking a dot two char array so two char array is an inbuilt method which is actually used to convert your string to an array and i've already told you for iterate a for loop so i've already told you why uh, i should not be initialized to zero if it is initialized to zero it starts from first but you don't want to start it from the bus first but if you want to start it from the center that is from the middle of the string so i'm just giving word dot length divided by two right and it should be length uh, less than word dot length i've already told you why should we use word dot length and finally printing yes uh, okay let the entire get uh, string gets printed so word of i i'm just taking this ln because i want it in the single line yes 
print so when you print you get used right yes uh, so this is so simple right yes uh, so please do watch my previous video so that you will understand this perfectly because all of them are interconnected and once you understand all of them you will become very strong in basics trust me yes thank you very much for watching if you did like this video please do subscribe share among your friends and tell them how easy 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 it is to code right yes uh, thank you so much for watching